My name is Shazia Savek. I'm a professor of computer science in the School of Information Technology and Electrical Engineering at the University of Queensland. Uh, today we celebrated some of the achievements from the UQ AI Collaboratory, which was established last year. We had a range of uh, demonstrations and talks uh, with regards to cutting edge work that we are doing both in the fundamental aspects of AI as well as the applied aspects to AI. And we were delighted to welcome um, international thought leader uh, and entrepreneur, uh, Dr. Vishal Sikha, as the keynote speaker to this event. Hi, my name is Alejandro Melendez. I'm the project lead of this transdisciplinary project that involves clinicians, engineers, and industry to use robotics and AI to uh, investigate how we can maximize recovery of walking after stroke. What we know is that users need to be engaged in the rehabilitation process, and at the same time, the robot has to provide that level of assistance as needed in order to promote that recovery. So what we do here is we try to optimize specific muscle activation patterns that we can render then in the exoskeleton and we hope we can maximize this process. Hi, I'm Ali Darvishi, a postdoctoral research fellow from uh, Institute for Teaching and Learning and Innovation in uh, University of Queensland. We are working on developing an online learning platform called Ripple, which uh, leverages the uh, potential of learning science, artificial intelligence, and crowdsourcing to improve the student learning and learning experience. Hi, I'm Sheikhs. Uh, I uh, do research in AI and medical imaging, and one of the works that we try to develop is to understand the way diseases occur in medical imaging and to aid in diagnosis and research. My name is Aida Soma. I'm a senior lecturer in Business Information Systems at UQ Business School. There's a lot of tools and technologies available to the public sector, but the cost of getting it wrong is very high. Uh, so we try to sort of create insights of organizational practices that need to be implemented w when these opaque models are put in use to, to, to make sure they're used in, in a safe manner and that they don't harm others. My name is Gianluca De Martini. I'm an associate professor in data science at the University of Queensland. Today we presented the UQ election ad data dashboard, which we use to track the federal election campaign we basically looked at uh, all the political ads on Facebook and who have been targeted by these advertisements in terms of demographics, age, gender, location, uh, election campaign, uh, debates uh, in each electorate, uh, and so on. 